Like you and I know that the, the issue of Mi'raj, do you know what is Mi'raj? When the Prophet Muhammad, peace be, on him, peace be upon him, was taken up to the heavens, right? So there was a pious man who used to read five salah in the masjid. And he kept on believing that one day Allah will take him to Mi'raj. I mean, how? A pious man, keep on believing that one day Allah will take me to Mi'raj. So he kept on telling people, you guys don't know, I've been praying that Allah takes me to Mi'raj. The kids, the young, the youth of that community, actually one day early morning, they decided to blindfold him. He said, hey, what's going on? He said, I am Jibreel. We're here to take you to Mi'raj. And he was okay with it. Blindfolded him and they put him on a donkey. He thought that was his burak. You know, the burak was there. Subhanallah. Until in the morning, they found him in the, in the city, circling in a donk, on a donkey. And the people said, this man is mad. But he is mad, because why? As much as he may be religious, he didn't understand. He took it beyond a certain point, and he didn't understand it. So the same applies to us. You know, when you follow the instructions of your maker, it actually helps you in a practical way to lead your life so that you are content. That's the one word you need to remember. You are content. If there is a really, really lovely person, male or female, not everyone can be married to that person. Remember that. You see a good guy. He's married. It's over. Leave him. It's fine. Thank Allah. You've got to work. Because what might happen is, we tend to lose out on something the Almighty has prepared for us. Because we want something that's not ours. You lose contentment. If you were a true believer, you try your best to a certain point. After that, you pull back and you say, Alhamdulillah, I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know what? It's good that actually I, I have other opportunities. And here, here I am. If someone wants to work at CIMB, for example, they apply for a job and they're really you know, pinned on one post. I need this post. The post is not available or they don't want you because of something. Maybe the qualification. You cannot keep on applying every year without looking for another job in the meantime. You need to get another job at least, even if it means doing something to earn because you need to live. Have you ever thought, why do you need to eat thrice a day? Or even why do you need to eat daily? Why does man have a cavity here that he needs to fill? We put... Food in our mouths, we chew it, goes down. Put food in our mouth, chew, goes down. We work hard, we earn, we buy something, put it inside here, chew, it's gone down. We, we earn again, the next day we've got a hundred dollars too. We go out, eat pizza, bring, put it in here. This is the culprit here. You see, we go in here, comes down, gone. Subhan. Why? It's Allah's plan to keep us active. Yet another plan. Keep you active. You need to be worried about what? If I sit in my bed, if I don't do anything, if I keep on sleeping and dreaming, subhanallah, I will have huge dreams, but they won't come to a reality. In order to, in order to let your dreams become real, you need to stop sleeping. Right? If you want your dreams to be realized, wake up, get up, move out, go and try hard. Then you say, wow, I had a dream, here it is. But if you're going to keep sleeping, you'll keep dreaming. Subhanallah. My brothers and sisters, I hope, you, I hope you get the message here to say we have to work very hard here. 